Hello VR chat players. Today I'm gonna to show you how to animate shaders. Alright. So what you want to do first, do the object sphere. Alright. You can name this whatever. Let's call it screen effects. You could get rid of the collider. Change the side of of, it, of this. It could be whatever you want, how big. Change the scale, let's make it 555 for now. Actually a bit bigger, let's make it 15 by 15. All across, should look something like this. See, that's your shader bubble. You could use a, a cube as well, it's personal preference. All right, let's go and create a material now for the sphere. We have some material. Alright, so we have our material, you can name it SFX or whatever the hell you want. Click on your sphere, drag this. Make sure to remove cast shadows when you animate shaders and receive shadows. Keep those off. Alright, now grab the shader you want to animate. Let's see. Uh, let's do... Gloomy. Start sphere rainbow. No, let's not do that. Let's just use Lucas. Or sign five five no. Alright, Lucas. Alright. So there's a lot going on in the shader, but don't worry. You'll get to understand how to animate shaders and what they do. So here we have a lot of options. This is one of those bigger shaders. With many things, you got many eff effects you can do with this sh single shader. If you want, you can hit up Luca, Luca's Discord. So just Luca, his number is 8375. It's his mega shader. You can purchase it for $30. $30. It's great, great stuff. All right. But all right, since we have this sphere, you can place it wherever. Usually, you can leave it in armature. So let's create an empty. Let's name it. Shaders we animate or whatever. Throw this here because it belongs in there. Doesn't really need to be done outside. You can just leave it up here. So we have our sphere with the shader material. Alright. Let's create a animator. Usually I, I create the animator on the sphere itself. Or you create the animator on the empty game object and then animate the sphere from there but it's up to you so we could do this we'll animate from the game object because the sphere is already inside so there we go and always remember when you want to animate stuff within your avatar make sure to throw an animator on it or it will ruin your main avatars animation and ruin the pose so let's name this shader animation. All right. Make sure to change your samples to 75 because if you're going to keyframe songs, you want the sample rate to be 75. As we look in Audacity, if you're going to work with a song, make sure to set it to CDDA frames. 75 frames per second, pretty much. And right, let's go ahead and pop a song in there while we're at it. Let's grab a song I already animated before. So, 13 loop. All right, let's do loop. Let's, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Sorry about that. Forgot to leave my headphones on. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, so let's grab this song. I'll open it, open file location, show and explore. That's how you find out where your files are located. If you wanna open them up real quick. Let's drop this in Audacity. All right, so we got the song in Audacity. All right, we have like a thump here. 
So we want to animate at this point, right? So the frame is 201. So we go back to Unity, right? We can start recording. Let's go back to the shader sphere. And up here is where you could put the, the keyframe location. So 201, press enter. It'll take you to that location of where the thump is or the snare of a song is. And you know what, let's add a shake. So this is very simple. So I mean, what you want to do is, there's always options for shaders. Allow circular shake, so you want to allow it. Circular shake speed, let's crank it up a bit. And the strength of it. All right, so let's say you want something like, you want to mess with the value, you like this. Boom. I want it to start from there at that point. And make sure whenever you start a shader at a certain point, move to the next keyframe behind and toggle everything back to its location. Because if you do not do this, um, pretty much the shader will be active at this point throughout here if you don't leave it off. See, so you see this? Look, it's not active throughout here. Now it's active after this point. Huh? Now let's go ahead and let's make a fall off point for this shake. So we could turn this off here, bring it down, bring it down. And then it'll only shake here. Now you see that? Shake. All we did was animate at the point we wanted, went back a keyframe, turned everything off. And you have to make sure it's off at the start of the, of the song, unless there's like a thump or something going on like a if there's a if there's a keyframe in the start you know you'll do your effects at the start of the song then you'll find the next point then the next point so let's say you have your all the effects you want at that certain point of the keyframe for a song you can just copy it from here boom because this is where the effects are active then you can find the next point in Audacity. So, boom, this one. That is 392. Go back to Unity. 392. Boom. Copy, paste. There you go. Let me get set for the song. I believe I already have this song somewhere in my model it's for one of my pistols let's see S stat track yeah it's for the spin let's make it active okay let's go back to sfx press play i was 12 years old when the cops came Supposed to be gun spin, okay. Not that. See those two thumps with the screen shake, the circle shake that we added. It's, it's, it's exactly on point, so. This is all you really have to do to animate shaders. Pretty simple. Literally, you're just messing with values and sliders. Obviously, you're gonna mess around. Like, let's say you wanted darkness at this point. You need to just toggle it on. I want darkness at this point. Boom. Make sure to turn it up. Next keyframe behind. Turn the value to zero or turn it off. 
then wherever you want to effect to stop there so we have no darkness here darkness kicks in and disappears pretty simple stuff guys and to animate floating weapons I'm gonna show you how to do that right now so let's go ahead and hide this I'm gonna use this as an example pull arm float turn this one off make a copy so normally you could put weapons on your hips if it's gonna follow it's gonna if you leave it on your hip, it'll follow your hip. If you leave it on your on the chest of the body, it'll follow the chest. If you leave it on your armature, it'll follow the armature of your avatar. But for now, we we're gonna leave the pole arm float where the hip is. All right. So we have an empty game object, and we have our weapon here. Okay. Just take the animator. We leave it on the weapon. Go to the weapon. Start creating animation for it. Call it float. At this point, you can animate it however you want. You can make it go up, down, rotate, 360. You can make it shrink and get bigger. So. To give you an idea, let's animate it shrinking. And then, actually, no, let's grab the values of the main size we're working with. Shrink it a bit, and then we'll paste the values for the original size so it's there. At this point, let's make it shrink at one second. There you go. Then we can grab the main size of it again and add it to two. Press play. It's shrinking and growing. So you can do that. You can make it spin. Let's rotate it a bit. Just a bit. Okay. And at this point, do like a whole 360. Let's grab the rotation copy. We can place it right here. Press play. Now it's shrinking and rotating. Remember, at this point, once you're animating it, you can do whatever you want to it. You can make it shrink, rotate. If you if if you can, you can make a circle around you. That may be a bit harder, but the sky's the limit. Do whatever you want with it. It's pretty simple stuff. That, and that's how you animate floating weapons. You could anim to, to animate it going up and down. Just hit record. Um, move it down slightly here. Move it down here at this point. And you just grab the position of the first one back to the third one. So it's three steps. One, two, three. Press play. You can pretty much just animate it to how you like it, however you want your, f your weapon to, to be. You can make it float up and down slowly. Just animate it going, animate it going up and down. That's it. If you want to make it shrink, scale it. If you want it to rotate, animate it rotated. Pretty simple stuff, guys. But all right. I think that's it for now. That's all you need to know about animating shaders and animating floating weapons. Pretty simple stuff. All right. You can take a look at the shaders that I have animated here. Let's take a look at an animation before I go. So here I have my pull arm spin. And here are the shaders. Here's the keyframed. The song is a loop. 
as you see the sample is 75 I have all of th all of these effects going on here from the shader magnitude shake projection all this stuff fast play Spin still active. Okay. Just realized. <laughs> yep. And then soon, you know, you'll be doing stuff like this with shaders. So I had to like shake here. All of this is keyframed. Remember I go back to Audacity, I find the point where I want it. And then you could copy the same effect, just find the next point and paste it there. Pretty simple stuff. But all right guys, that's it for my video today. That's, today it was just, we were just covering shaders, how to animate them and how to animate floating objects. All right, take care and look out for my next video whenever I get to it.